Now with the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 launch with the story behind one of the most famous outfits in the world, Neil Armstrong's spacesuit. David Curley joins us from Washington with all the details on how it got made. Hey, David. Good morning, George. What a remarkable day this is going to be. The vice president will be here very soon, standing in front of a lunar lander like the one, exactly like the one that landed on the moon nearly 50 years ago, to unveil a preserved Neil Armstrong spacesuit. On a table in a museum lab, possibly the most iconic suit in the world. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Neil Armstrong was on the moon for less than three hours, but his suit still carries the dust of that historic walk. There is moon dust embedded here in this suit. The lunar dust is embedded right there on the surface, and that, that tells it's in, you know, history uh, representing Apollo. It took a Kickstarter campaign in two years to preserve Armstrong's suit. 21 layers of material, some of it invented for this spacesuit. But this was not the work of an aerospace company. Yes, try on a new Playtex at your favorite store. That's right. The woman's garment company, Playtex, won the contract to build the Apollo spacesuit. They're making girdles and bras and, and industrial gloves. Expandable fabrics, things that could give a little bit. The basic fabric of a spacesuit was there in Playtex. They had the technology. Sonny Ream and his team put together a film to sell NASA on their design. All those layers painstakingly sewn together. The sole of the overboot that left those footprints, their design. But their first full systems test was the moonwalk. So while the world was excitedly glued to their TV sets watching men on the moon, there was an anxious, nervous man in mission control. Sonny Ream wanted the walk to end, worried something might fail. When Buzz Aldrin is talking about kangaroo hops and starts hopping around the moon. Yeah. What do you think? Of? Get back in the limb. We've already, we're successful. We can declare success. I don't care how many craters Buzz wants to look at, get him back inside. He finally did. Armstrong's suit, now preserved for us to see up close, something that touched the moon and so many of us. Do you watch people look at the suit? So, I will watch people. <laughs> um, I, I love to see people's reactions. It, it, it's very emotional. It is pretty remarkable to be that close to a piece of history like that and see how it was actually came back from the moon with that moon dust still in it. Armstrong got on TV after the moonwalk and thanked the folks who built that suit. Sonny Ream basically says this was the work of his life. One of the 400,000 people that got us to the moon 50 years ago. Very remarkable. They're going to unveil the seat. suit. If you can come see it, I highly recommend it, guys. What an amazing story. He ought to be very proud, David. Thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.